It's Tom Davis here with Rick Dempsey, and now joined by Wally Bunker. I just want to say one thing. If you're as old as I am and you can remember the 1964 baseball season, you remember this man, 19-5 and five with the Orioles. As a rookie pitcher at the age of 19, he won 19. Later, won a World Series game in 66, pitching a, sh pitching a shutout against the Los Angeles Dodgers. Wally, welcome to the show. We Thank you. It. Nice to be here. I want to go without a baseball question to start out with. I remember 1964 Studebaker Avanti. You were the talk of the town with it, that car. It was a, uh, <laughs> how should we say, it was, a, it was a, a very fast car. Let's put it that way. <laughs> it was fun. It was wonderful. And um, I don't know what to actually go into. I can't tell you. I can't tell you all the details, but it was a wonderful car. Yeah. 19 wins at age 19. It's almost unheard of in baseball. What was it like that year? Uh, it was, uh, what can I tell you? It was fun. It was wonderful. Uh, the bad part is, is you're too young to really appreciate it, which is kind of weird, you know. But we, it was, it was a story. It was a storybook. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. Raleigh, when you stop and think about being in the major leagues at 19 years old, and you draw some comparisons to the 19-year-olds here. They're, they're not even drafted at 19 anymore. They can't command the ball like you did. What did it feel like coming to the major leagues, 19 years old, raw rookie, and you were doing as well as you were doing? It had to be a storybook. It, it was a funny feeling. I mean, it really was because like a year before, you're in high school playoffs, and the next year you're pitching against Mickey Mantle, you know? I mean, it really <laughs> was strange. And... and uh, I honestly don't know why I could do that. I really don't. It, I don't know. Well, you pitched a shutout in the World Series, 1966. Yeah. Memories of that game and the memories of the whole 66 World Series. Okay, that was, you remember it like it was yesterday. Uh, you know, Saturday morning, a little breeze. And wasn't blowing out, which was good, as you know. Uh, full house, excitement. Uh, you know, it was just just fun I can't well you played in the series I'm, it's just so much fun you can't describe it to other people it's not another game like everybody likes to say it is you know it, it you know, your arm doesn't hurt during that game you know your, your, your ankle feels good during that game it's a game Blair hit the home run in right thank goodness yeah, yeah. Paul and I played together in uh, in uh, Stockton out of high school together you know, two years before that, so it was kind of funny that the two of us, were, two years later, were in the World Series. Talking about Wally Bunker, he's got a book coming out in the in the fall, right? Absolutely. Well, it'll come out opening day next year. It's uh, Joggling Board Press, a press out of Charleston, South Carolina, where we live, is bringing it out. And uh, my wife does, I draw, I draw the pictures and write it, and my wife does all the painting. And uh, it's really fun. It just... I hope it goes well. And what motivated you to put the book together? Pardon me? What motivated you to put the book together? The books. I don't know. We're down in South Carolina. We live at a, a nature retreat, it's called. And people go there. There are no TVs, no telephones. We kayak a lot, <laughs> you know. And, uh, you know, the grandkids come down there and we just sit around and do nothing. You know, they chase lizards and things. <laughs> you know, it's really, really pretty laid back. And uh, we paint furniture and stuff for people down there, like these tables and things. And we painted a bird one time. I told my wife, I said, God, look at this bird. This is pretty cool. Yeah, it has a personality to it. And she said, well, let's do a book. Yeah, we've never done a book. I don't know what we're doing. And all of a sudden, we did a couple of books, brought them to a publisher in South Carolina that does low country. This is called low country uh, <laughs> area right. and it was called the low country tale concerning Waldemar Wiggins and Waldemar is my grandson's name and my grandfather's name so just kind of a funny sounding name we thought it would work and there it is and we appreciate you taking the time to be with us well, Wally Bunker it. who pitched for the Orioles 1964 he won 19 games won a World Series game in 1966